you see the title and you're just as confused as I am. So here is the true story of how Faku killed Hentai Haven. So to give a little bit of background on how Falku destroyed Hentai Haven, I would like to give a little bit of background for both websites. Hentai Haven is a website where what it basically does is stream free hentai for free. And in its heyday, I think it was one of, if not the most popular H streaming websites of all time, if not the biggest in the anime community that people have ever seen because it had categories, it was organized, it was it was overall a pretty good website. Like this was one of them websites where like if you wanted hentai, like it was easy, barely any, it was, it was just a great website overall. And it had a lot of competitors trying to keep up, but none of them could do it as good as Hentai Haven could because Hentai Haven was just organized free and it wasn't that hard to deal with. So when you wanted to choose a website, it made it pretty easy to say, yeah, I'm gonna definitely 100% choose H Haven. And one of the many competitors of Hentai Haven was this other company known as Faku. Faku is another hentai sort of website where they kind of are a little bit more legal than hentai haven because hentai haven was streaming everything for free but faku they had actual brand deals they published games manga anime like and it's all legal for them to do so because they actually have the licenses to a lot of these shows where haven did not but overall, Falku was almost like the legal brand version of Hentai Haven. But with Falku, you actually have to pay for a subscription in order to get into it. But this isn't hating on Falku or anything. It's just the fact that Hentai Haven seemed like the more obvious choice because Falku costs money. And when you're just trying to get a quick little, no, it, but when you're just trying to get something in, you're not going to try to go and pay and log into your Falku account. You're going to go to Hentai Haven where it's free, accessible, and again, free so this led to somewhat of a healthy little rivalry between the two brands to see who can be the biggest and the most notable and you know popular of course but no like malice on the surface between the two scenes appeared until very very much later now while hentai haven was possibly at its peak of popularity constantly rising still getting new fans each and every day for unknown reasons in december of 2018 right i've done a lot of research looking into why why it's it's, it's all a bunch of misleading info with no bases or sources but in december of 2018 hentai haven unfortunately shut down and it was a sight to see. Like, everybody was complaining. People were angry. Everybody was like, where's Hentai Haven? What is wrong? Like, many say it was due to the creator buying a fursuit and wasn't able to pay for the site anymore. Some say it was due to the global, like, national world or something. Like, the law cracking down on uh, illegal, like, P word. I can't say that if I don't want to be demonetized, which this video probably is anyways. But, and... Overall, the site was just gone, okay? Like, there were no traces. Nobody knew what the hell was going on. But we all knew that the creator known as Papa HH just said it was over. Hentai Haven's gone. It's done. It's done, okay? Like, it's the end of a legacy. It's over for Hentai Haven. But in a time of tragedy came a hero. A hero from a very unlikely place. From their biggest competitor known as Faku. And this was a light of hope, a beacon of prosperity for those that love Hentai Haven, right? Because it was announced shortly after in December 2018 when Hentai Haven went down that Falku and the Hentai Haven creator were going to come to a contracting deal where Falku was going to support Hentai Haven and help keep the site running. And this looked like an amazing thing. Like this, this like gave everybody hope. They're like, free Hentai's back. Let's go. And it, it, it just overall looked like 
a bright, bright future for Hentai Haven because now they could finally be legal. And there was like with a big industry known as Falco supporting it, Hentai Haven was going to be around to say kind of like when Chance the Rapper saved SoundCloud that nobody seems to remember for some reason. But 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 we're not talking about that. We're talking about how Falco, quote unquote, saved Hentai Haven. And just like that, Hentai Haven went back up. It was up and running. The, the site is still there for y'all to see. Y'all can just go search. I'm not, I'm not going to tell y'all where to go find Hentai Haven. But just, just look up the name, okay? And you will find that Hentai Haven is still an up and running site that is sponsored by Falku. Now, this is where the downfall of Hentai Haven begins. Because... We all thought everything was fine behind the scenes because Hentai Haven and Falku had come to an agreement where the Hentai Haven creator, he was going to be roped into a deal where they were going to be sponsoring him. He was going to be making real money. It was, it was just overall great, right? But then there came reports of how Papa HH, the creator of Hentai Haven, doesn't own the site anymore. And to give even any more background, right, I discovered this Reddit thread where it went into much more detail about what happened behind the scenes, right? In this post, this user mentioned that since Hentai Haven was in dark waters and Falku decided to help, basically the Hentai Haven creator decided to go ahead and give off all of the agreements, all of the like sign-ins and passcodes into the site and sign all these contracts, basically allowing Falku to own the website because Falku had promised that they would give Papa HH co-ownership and that they would help keep the website out of trouble. Now this was tragic because after the contract was unfortunately signed, the Hentai Haven creator was kicked out of the website along with all of the staff and they weren't allowed back in because, you know, Falku now owned it because the Hentai Haven creator was in a rush to get Hentai Haven to safety and to keep the website running. So he didn't have enough time to read over all the contracts. And unfortunately, there was nothing he could do. And Falku now owned Hentai Haven and he had nothing to do with the website any longer. And just like that, there's not much more to the story except for the fact that this is how Faku screwed over and destroyed Hentai Haven. Because I've noticed that ever since, like, this whole thing went on in 2018, that Hentai Haven hasn't been as consistent nor has it been as good of a website without the original like person running it it hasn't been updated as much it's it's overall almost like a dead website okay like honestly haven fell off okay and it's unfortunately due to bad contracts bad companies like it's just overall a bunch of bad toxic behind the scenes stuff and honestly the only lesson slash moral of the story you can get out of this is just watch who you're talking to. Watch who you sign contracts with because a lot of these big companies, they only care about money. They only care about ownership. And at the end of the day, nothing they're doing is for morally good things. They're doing it just to get more money into their own pockets, okay? And honestly... It sucks to see what happened to the Hentai Haven creator. Like, it was a good website in its heyday. And, unfortunately, that time has come to pass. Maybe one day we will get a website just as good as Hentai Haven. Or just as, like, good as Faku that doesn't decide to do scummy behind the scenes stuff. But, let me know how you pizza people feel about how this all went down. Let me know how you feel about Faku. And overall, this is not a hate. This is not a rant video. I'm just covering how Falku unfortunately destroyed Hentai Haven. But if you would like more stories like this, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel down below. And until next time, my name is Time Pizza, and I will see you pizza people later. Peace.